hello everyone, Emily Joan Smith here. It's good to see you on my channel again. Um, I hope you're doing well and today I basically want to talk to you about dyslexia. Um, so if you have dyslexia or know someone with dyslexia, um, what I have to say may help you or that person. So give it a watch and see what you think. So this is my story with dyslexia. Um, I have had dyslexia my whole life, obviously, and I didn't know it until I was 16. Um, so I wasn't diagnosed dyslexic until I was 16. So I went through the whole of primary school, the whole of secondary school, through my GCSEs or my SATs um, with not a lot of help. Um, so I have quite a few suggestions for those of you who may be struggling um, in the same situation. So first of all, when I first found out about dyslexia, I thought, well, it was such a weird thought, like it's not the first thought that I think many people will think about, but it was like, can I be discriminated for being dyslexic? If I find out I'm dyslexic, can a job say no to me? because I'm dyslexic? The answer is no. Um, no person is gonna turn you down because you're dyslexic, unless they're heartless. And if they're heartless, why would you wanna work with them anyway, or for them um, anyways? So that was my first thought, and I don't know why that was my first thought. I guess um, I've just always wanted to do big things, and I've never wanted anything to stop me. Um, so, I was glad to find out when I did that I had dyslexia because it made me realise why I'd struggled um, through my past life. My mum always had an inkling um, that I had dyslexia or was struggling with learning, um, but we never tested it out and my mum wanted me to, but um, the schools never really saw reason to, um, although I was pretty bad at reading extremely bad at spelling and if you read um if you read sorry if you watch a lot of my videos um you can probably tell that i do have dyslexia because of the words i'll say i'll either say words wrong or my sentences won't make um some sense a lot of my sentences do make sense but some sentences won't make sense because what i'm thinking in my head and what is coming out of my mouth isn't always the same thing. And that's also the same thing when I'm writing as well. What I'm thinking and what I'm writing isn't always the same thing. So if you do watch my videos, you can probably tell. So um, I apologize and I don't apologize um, because it's me and it's a quirk I have. Um, and I quite like that quirk um, because, I <laughs> so me and my mum have started this um, notes where I make up a lot of words, so we've started to make my own little dictionary of words that I have made up and what they actually mean. Um, so the next thing I want to talk about is get all the help you can. Um, if you have a feeling you're struggling, go and get tested. Ask, 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 and go and get tested because you'll be able to get more help, you'll be able to get more time in exams, um, you will may be able to get a computer um, to type on if you're quite a slow um, writer. Um, just get as much help as you can. Um, the next thing is just because you're dyslexic does not mean you're stupid. I spent a lot of my life, a lot of my life thinking I was stupid. Um, the thing is my brothers are very, very smart. I've got two older brothers and they are like a straight A kind of students, very smart, very intelligent. And I never got them kind of grades and that made me feel stupid. And I shouldn't have felt stupid because having dyslexia, dyslexia doesn't mean you're stupid. It just means you have to work a bit harder. And I personally think if I didn't have dyslexia, I wouldn't have as much discipline. I wouldn't have as much understanding for hard work. Um, because the thing is, even if you are dyslexic, it doesn't mean you can't it doesn't stop you from learning anything. What stops you from learning anything is not putting in effort. Um, just because you have to put in more effort doesn't mean you shouldn't put in more effort because it, when you put more effort in, you gain more from it anyway. Um, so the more effort you put in, 
the more um, reward you will have, the more feeling of amazement and happiness and gratitude you'll have for having put that effort in, in the first place. So make sure you put that effort in. And that's all I can say, put the effort in. Um, it, you're not stupid, you just need more effort. Um, also, um, a lot of famous people have dyslexia. There are so many writers, um, so many people with dyslexia and it has not stopped them in the slightest. Um, they've just worked harder um, and they've worked through it. Um, and it doesn't mean that you can't do something big with your life just because you have dyslexia. It doesn't mean um, that you're going to be any less of a person because you have dyslexia. Um, you've got to realise that there are so many people who are doing amazing things um, and you may not realise realize it but they have dyslexia um and the last thing i want to say that really really helped me um so although i was not um i don't know if diagnosed is the right word i think it's diagnosed um in secondary school what happened was when i was in the last two years of my secondary school i started spending time with more smarter people i started spending time with people in higher sets um i don't know why i just started clicking with them more. I started spending time with people who are smart and hardworking. And that made me more of a hard worker and in turn made me smarter because when I would speak to them, they would correct me. If I said a sentence wrong, if I said a word wrong, if I said, if my grammar was incorrect, they would correct me and I wouldn't take offense to it. You should never take offense to um, correction. You should never take offense to, um, critical analysis or constructive criticism because it's going to help you in the long run people are just helping you if they're not saying it in like a um, condescending way and they're trying to help take that help on and be grateful that someone actually wants to help you improve um, your vocabulary improve your lifestyle improve your education um, and just spend more time with people who are um, hard working and wanna, who are learning more and are smarter than you. Because there is this amazing quote, and I've spoken about it before, but the five people you spend most time with are the five people you are most going to end up like. So you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So you're the average income, you're their average intelligence, you're their average creativity, you're their average kindness, you're their average style sense, you're their average everything. So you want to make sure you're spending time with smart, kind, hardworking people um, so that your personality develops into a better person. So you develop into a more interesting um hard working um like incredible person um because everyone can better themselves everyone can better themselves even the best of the best can be better so that's the last thing i want to talk about so if you do have dyslexia or you have a child who have this who has dyslexia or a brother or a sister or a friend um show them this video because it may help them um, because my struggles um, may help them get past their struggles. Um, so yeah, share this video with them um, and also just be supportive and try and be there for them and try and help them, not in a condescending way, but in a um, help each other be better kind of way. So thank you so, so much for watching. I'm so glad I spoke about this. Um, I thought it was going to be hard to talk about the subject, but it's really not actually that hard. Um, I guess I'm kind of passionate about the subject and I didn't even realise. So I have done so many videos um, on self-development, positivity, um, inspiration and everything like that on my Facebook page. So make sure you go follow Emily Joan Smith live without limits on Facebook because I do a daily video every single day self develop don't keep saying that word wrong self development videos on Facebook Emily Jo Smith live without limits also if you have Instagram um go to Instagram at live without limits official and give me a follow there because there's completely different content if you have enjoyed this video please share it share it anywhere and everywhere um, because I'm sure it will help someone and you never know who it's going to help. So thank you so, so much for watching and I will speak to you again soon with another video and I look forward to seeing you then. And if no one's told you today, um, I appreciate you. Bye.